The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, welcome everybody to the Offer Vault and What Runs Where webinar. Uh, we're going to show you today how to launch campaigns that convert using Offer Vault and What Runs Where. Uh, I know uh, you guys are here because you got an email that said, hey, there's thousands of successful media buys from this one free tool that's been sitting under your nose the whole time. And uh, I'm really excited to share this with you because I know that a lot of you had no idea that you had access to this. So my name is Leanne Carmi, and uh, I've got a special guest with us today. His name is Max Teilman. Max, if you would switch over to the next slide, I'll just do a quick intro. And if your screen is paused, then we'll need to Un unpause it and go to the next slide. Hello, Max. Did I lose you? Uh oh, guys, we might have uh, we might have lost Max. Let's uh, give me just a second. Let me let me get him back on here. Max, can you, uh, oh, I guess, uh, <laughs> Max says, I guess. Uh, okay, he's back, awesome. All right, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, so if you wanna uh, show your screen and, and hop over to the next slide, well, I'll introduce you real quick. Oh, no worries, okay, so Max uh, Max and the team had a small network issue over there, but they're, they've got it fixed up. And I see some hellos in the crowd, so uh, hello Zaheer, Heather, Himanshu, welcome, guys. There are, wow, there are a ton of you. Uh, in here. Uh, I'll say hi to some people just while we're waiting for uh, for Max to get his uh, network stuff back up and, and get the, the show on the road. Uh, so hello, Adam, Adrian, Alex, Alice, Allison, Alvin, Andre, Ariel, uh, Jorge, how are you? Um, Beverly, Lenny, Zaheer, uh, Che, Carol, Bob, Bill, uh, Chris, Claire, Christian, uh, Dav, David, Derek, two Dereks, uh, Donald, Donald. Wow, there are just a ton of you in here. If I didn't say hi to you, oh, hey, Mayur, I see your name in there. Uh, Max, I hear you. Are you back? Yep, I'm here. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, welcome, guys, uh, again to the uh, Offer Vault and What Runs Where webinar. And uh, as I mentioned uh, just a couple minutes ago, I'm really excited to show you how. You've got this tool that's been sitting there this whole time that you might not have even known about. And we're going to show you how to use that today. And we've got a pretty awesome case study for you. So, um, Max, if you would hop over to the next uh, uh, next slide here, I'll do some quick introductions. Awesome. So our special guest today is Max Teitelbaum. He is the co-founder and COO of What Runs Where. You might have heard of them. Pretty big company. Uh, what Runs Where is the premier competitive intelligence tool that revolutionizes the way you run display ads on desktop, mobile, and in apps. Uh, he's a successful online marketer uh, turned founder of the company, and he is committed to helping other entrepreneurs get their start in the startup world. Uh, I'm Leanne Carmi. I'm the director of training here at OfferVault. Uh, and uh, some of you guys might know OfferVault is the go-to source for affiliate marketers. You can find the best payouts and the best offers in your niche, and I'll show you briefly how to do that today. Uh, I'm an affiliate marketer and also a marketing coach, and I guide people who are ready for action in the right direction. And I have a feeling that if you're on the call, you're ready for action. So uh, let's hop over to the next slide and keep going here. All right, so here's what we're going to be showing you today. We're going to discuss the current affiliate marketing landscape. We're going to talk about where the best opportunities lie right now. Okay, I'm going to show you a quick overview of OfferVault so that you can see how to look those things up. We're going to talk about how Off Vault and what, run, what Runs Where benefits you. And we're going to introduce you to What Runs Where and talk about why competitive intelligence is so critical for a successful campaign. And lastly, we're going to share with you an awesome case study. Uh, we're going to show how to launch a campaign using What Runs Where in a niche that probably a lot of you have a strong interest in, which is the diet and weight loss niche. So let's hop over to the next slide. 
And Max, I'm going to let you talk about this one. Awesome. So thank you so much for having me. Um, I started as an affiliate marketer in about 2004, 2005. I was about 15, year old, 15 years old when I started. But let's just look back at 2010 to what projection for 2016. You know, if we look at the actual spend, working at billions of dollars. In 2010, we were looking at about $1.6 billion of spend on, affiliate, on the affiliate channel. That's more than doubling by 2016. And what this means is there's a huge, huge opportunity for individual affiliates and individual entrepreneurs to start high-impact businesses. The wonderful thing about affiliate marketing is it allows businesses to expand their reach by working with a, a, with a number of different people instead of just their own internal agency and by making yourself an invaluable part of that food chain you can make a ton of money you can you know start your own successful business and achieve whatever goals you want to achieve in your life so it's it's an extraordinary high growth industry an industry that I think is is really exciting um, and as marketers shift their attention to affiliate marketing and into the mobile space it's really a forefront that affiliates can continue to take advantage of so a couple a couple interesting facts about affiliate marketing. You know, when, when people buy from affiliate links, they spend about seven dollars more on average than if they buy just organically. Online shopping through affiliate referrals are forty three percent more likely to convert than average. And the opportunity to generate revenue is growing. Now why why is this? Why are people willing to spend more and why are people willing to convert more? It's because affiliates only get paid when an action happens. So if you um, don't convert a sale, you're not going to get paid. So you have a much stronger incentive to create compelling copy than somebody that's sitting at a desk and maybe getting paid to spend money, hit a target, and gets paid whether it's branding awareness or um, direct response. But the most important thing to me, display and search marketing encompasses over one-third of the affiliate marketing promotion space. There's a huge opportunity there. So... What does this mean for affiliates? Well, firstly, you need to understand how do I find the right offers and what offers should I be promoting? So who, whose products should I be promoting? And I don't think there's a better resource out there than OfferVault to do that. And then what, what are the right tools for me to use? And I'm a little bit biased, right? But I think What Runs Where is a phenomenal tool to use to help you be successful in your media buying as an affiliate. And um, competitive intelligence data is extraordinarily important because it allows you to minimize risk, it allows you to spend more effectively and smarter, and it really allows you to get a leg up. And when you combine the research of finding the right offers with the right data, you have such a head start on anybody else. So I'll let Leanne talk about OfferVault a little bit. Yeah, definitely. And what I'll do is I'll actually uh, switch over the screen in a second because um, you guys might already know OfferVault actually allows you to target the affiliate offers that you want. So you can go in there, you can compare thousands of offers, you can compare payouts from the top affiliate networks, it saves you time, it keeps you aware of the top offers, and you can also refine your search by including and excluding various networks, filtering by industry or country, uh, and you can even view just mobile offers if you want. So I'm going to grab the screen real quick here and... Let me make sure I show you the right screen. All right. So, guys, let me know in the question box if you see my screen. And, by the way, feel free to uh, post in the question box as we're talking if you have any questions, uh, uh, if you want to clarify something, and we'll make sure to do a little Q&A at the end. Uh, hey, Maya, how are you? <laughs> so I see people saying hi to me in there. So what you're looking at your screen right now is the OfferVault main page. A lot of you are very familiar with this. And it's very easy to go in here and just start to search for a variety of offers. And uh, what are some offers that you guys like to see? Give me a quick, uh, you know, give me a quick niche in the uh, in the question box. What are some offers that that you guys like to uh, to do? Okay, careers, coupons, Garcinia. Oh, I, I like this Garcinia thing. I'm gonna type in Garcinia here. And you'll see why I like it in a minute here. And I'm just going to hit the search button. And we've got a ton of offers that pull up on OfferVault. And already you can see you can look at the same offer and see um, 
what are different networks that have these offers and what are they paying out, right? So you can find which network's gonna give you the best payout. You can learn more about the offer by clicking on it. You can see, you know, if you wanna run it, who do you need to apply with? And you can just click on it and apply. Now, OfferVault kind of has a, a cool tool. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with OfferVault Pro, but in the back office of OfferVault Pro, uh, we have this tool called OV Profit Spy, and that's the screen that you're looking at now. And OV Profit Spy takes all the data that is searched on in OfferVault, on OfferVault.com, and makes it available to affiliates so that you can see what people are searching the most. What, what offers are people the most interested in? Right. And what does that tell you when you know what the affiliates are searching, you know what's hot, you know what they're promoting. And so I went in here and just did a basic search. And guess what I saw? Pure green coffee, pure Garcinia, pure raspberry ketone, all of these diet offers, green coffee bean extract, pure Garcinia. Imagine that. Right. So one of the top niches is the diet niche. And what I've done is if you click on these, they actually take you right to Offer Vault and to the offer. And here's one that I pulled up, the Pure Coffee Premium. And a tool that you may not be aware of, and I'm, I'm kind of giving away a little bit, is this What Runs Where Competitive Intelligence. And all you've got to do when you pull up an offer you're interested in is click on the Competitive Intelligence. This has been here for several weeks now, probably several months. And it actually gives you a breakdown. You can see how long the campaign's been going on. Because what's an issue in the affiliate world? You want to know that the offers you're promoting are going to be around for a while. You don't want to optimize a campaign, finally get it profitable, and then have the campaign stop, right? So you can see that this campaign's been around for over two years, right? Probably pretty safe campaign to promote. You can see what countries it's being promoted in the most, right? You can see image ads that people are putting out there. Right. And this is incredible information because when you're starting out and you go out there, you want to know that you can take something that's already working and use that as a starting point. Right. You're not going to steal someone's work. That's illegal. But you can use it as inspiration and you can look and say, well, why why are these ads running? What makes them successful? Right. So you can go through and see all the different ads. You can see text ads. OK. Uh, and all this information is provided to you free via the competitive intelligence tool provided by What Runs Where and integrated with OfferVault. Now, this is actually just 10% of the data. And um, if you want all the data, then uh, you can absolutely go to What Runs Where and grab it. Uh, and actually, Max is going to uh, take over and I'm going to send him this uh, send him back the screen. I'll finish up a few things here that I want to share with you. and. Um, and then he's actually going to get into uh, the case study, which is going to be really exciting. So you're going to see how to actually use these things. So I'm going to Max, I'm gonna make you the presenter. And I just want to share a few things with you that you kind of saw, but we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. Uh, first of all, the food and diet-based offers that are over $30 tend to gain the most interest. As you can see, this is one of those, right? It's a $62 payout. Uh, the top offers, uh, the top offer categories are diet. That's number one. You saw that. Uh, the next one is debt and loans. The next one is online marketing services. And finally, online shopping. So you can't go wrong with those niches if you're getting started. Uh, a few more interesting statistics for you. Affiliates is the most dominant network of the top performing offers. Yeah, media brand comes in second. And while low paying lead offers will still do well, a sales payout offer generally has to be over $50 to be successful. So Max, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the screen now and we'll continue the presentation. Awesome, that sounds great. So what is What Runs Where? Well, as Leanne said, What Runs Where is a competitive intelligence service for display and mobile media. What we do is we help people understand how to create better campaigns and better creatives by understanding what other people are doing. And we don't want people to steal other people's work. We just want people to gain inspiration about what's working. So um, we track display advertising on desktop, and then we track mobile web advertising and in-app advertising for Android. We show you who's running what banners, what traffic source they're using, what individual placements they're using, and a ton more data. So we're integrated with OfferVault. We give away a bunch of data for free. 
so I saw a question that, you know, hey, what earns where is not free. We actually do try and give away some of our data for free. So we felt thought OfferVault was a perfect partner for us here because as affiliates are doing research, you guys can also see some of what people are doing. But it's only a fraction of the data that we have available. So if you want to see the full amount of data, you, you have to come and pay us for our service. That's how we keep our lights on, I feed my family, all that kind of fun stuff, right? Um, so we have a couple different case studies about how to use what runs where within our product to find successful campaigns. And I'll tie each of those back to a way that you can do it for free as well. So in our first case study, I want to launch a campaign, but where do I begin? So we have something called our top ad search in what runs where. What this does is it pulls up top ad creatives across um, the entire country you're searching or the entire internet. You select a side and we'll just pull up advertisements. The reason why this is useful is you can easily see if there are affiliate offers that are doing extraordinarily well. And you could then go back to Offer Vault, plug those in, see what see what offers are available in those niches. So if you see there are a lot of auto stuff, you can plug in auto and offer vault, find a hot performing offer and try and take advantage of that niche. Um, and you can change all these different filters to change days, to change it down to a single ad network, to change it to different countries. So you can really say, I'm going to drill into this. And the reason why this is useful is I was, I'm from Canada. When I was a performance marketer, I did a lot of advertising within Canada. I knew the market really well. The inventory was a little bit cheaper. So using our top ad search, I could select Canada and see all the ads that are performing best within Canada. And then when I see a creative that I like, all I do is I click on that creative and it will bring me to a profile about that exact creative. Now, what, why do I care about an exact creative? Well, I can start to collect different creatives and spot commonalities between them. So the way that you can do this for free is that what, using OfferVault, if you search, say, multiple diet offers on OfferVault, you can select the top creatives for each of those offers and say, what are the commonalities between them? Do they use a similar image? Do they use a similar word structure? And when you spot similarities between creatives, you can start to build really compelling um, creatives that are leveraging what people have already spent time money testing. Now using what runs where is much quicker and easier to do that, but um, we want to give options for everybody to be able to take advantage of competitive intelligence no matter what stage you are within your journey. You can also view all the exact traffic sources that this creator has been seen on and any creator has been seen on. You can only do this within what runs where. So if you want to know where that exact creator was seen and say do a direct buy there or figure out what ad network they're using, you have to use what runs where to do that. We can look at a couple different things. We can look at the publisher, the country, the category, the source, and then we have some scores like prevalence and duration that tell you how long has it been running? How well do we think it's doing? So you can really select different traffic sources to, to run or you know, build campaigns based off what other people are doing. And you can export all of this data back to your home computer as well within what runs where. Unfortunately, we don't allow you to export within OfferVault. We'll also show you every landing page used for that creative and what country it was used in. And the reason why that's important is you can spot split tests. You can look at what people are using for their landing pages and gain inspiration for your own landing pages there as well. So when to sum it up, why would you use our top ad search? You know, it would identify top foreign creatives and campaigns. It would help you select niches that you want maybe to try. And it would show you a 360 view of the online advertising space. But Maybe you already know what you're going to run. Maybe you say, I'm only interested in diet and weight loss, and it's wonderful that you guys picked diet and weight loss because that's the that's case study that we have drawn up here. Um, so to run diet and weight loss, you know, to figure out which publishers or which ad networks you should work with, you can use the keyword search, and you can use the keyword search on both OfferVault and what runs where. So with OfferVault, if you type in diet, you can look through all the different offers there and say, what are the countries 
via what runs where's data that we provide for free there that all of them are promoted and by being able to say here are countries where all these offers are hot you can fig you can you have a piece of the puzzle right there you can look at the creatives like we talked about and you can start to create a picture of you know maybe how you should run this campaign using what runs where as a product you can use our keyword search so within what runs where you can type in diet or any keyword into our keyword search and you'll get results back surrounding that keyword so if you're interested in diet you may want to look further than just Garcinia Cambogia or can I bring you know ideas from other diet campaigns into my Garcinia campaign and what runs where can really help you do that because by typing a keyword adjusting your filters you can get really really relevant banners to whatever you're searching and that then you can drill down into those ads and spot the similarities there you'll notice when I'm talking a lot of what I'm talking about has to do with similarities and commonality right and the reason why is because when you're using an intelligence tool you want to look for commonality if you find a lot of different ads that are using the same call to action there's probably a reason why if you find a lot of traffic sources or a lot of ad networks they're very similar there's probably a reason why and you should take that and use that as your beginning testing point because the wonderful thing about competitive intelligence is you blow out somebody else to spend a ton of my split testing concepts or ideas for you and you're just taking the end result of that what works so in theory you're saving a ton a ton of time and money so here are some more diet keywords that we pulled up some of these are very similar to the ones that we saw within offer vault with the animated stuff in the five foods never eat some of them are really different surrounding weight loss goals from the Mayo Clinic so maybe you split test these two concepts and find one that works best so the benefit of using our keyword search is you can drill down into a single niche or you can drill down into a single idea and identify top performing creatives and use segmented campaigns there so here's the one I think you guys are going to be the most interested about I know my niche I know the diet offer that I'm going to run what if I just want to view the data related to this offer well you can go to offervault.com type in the offer see the payout the affiliate network and you can view a snapshot of that data from what runs where where are the top creators where are the top countries how long has it been running is it a successful campaign like Leanne talked about and that's a great starting point then you can go into what runs where and use what we call our advertiser search so you can type in that advertiser within what runs where and you can see a full 360 degree view of their campaign who are the demographics that are going to their page what is every single traffic source that they're using where are they buying what networks are they buying through which networks are doing best which ones are most popular what are the different text ads they're using? What are the different banner ads they're using? For some advertisers, we have thousands of split test variations in banner ads. What are the actual hosts that they're hosting their creatives on? What are the landing pages they're using? What are other advertisers within that category so you can use it as a discovery tool as well? So you can really drill down into an offer and understand how the offer operates from A to Z via display and mobile media. So traffic sources are a really, really important tab because, as I said, it allows you to look at their entire campaign. So here we can see, you know, there are 75 different unique traffic sources we've seen. A bunch of it's through media buy, which is a direct buy. A bunch of it's through buy sell ads. Um, but we think EasyWebCounters.com is is their is their most profitable one. It's the one that we've seen the most. Is the one that we've seen the most frequently. So we built this score. So taking this you can identify what are more likely to be top performing placements and say well what country as well so in the United States with a direct buy here are the sites and I have a starting place to start testing my campaign based off of the money that these people have already spent testing the wonderful thing about the advertiser search as well is you can cross compare offers too so for example you can find another advertiser on offervault.com like New Life Brands, which is the one that Leanne brought up. And we, very coincidentally, didn't plan this all, have this as an overview here. 
so we can look at our original advertiser versus New Life brands and see what are the differences between these advertisers. What's one doing that another one isn't? And is there an opportunity there for you as an affiliate to take advantage of that and bring something to the table that they otherwise wouldn't have? So when we compare traffic sources between New Life brands and Green Coffee Max, we see their top performing sites are completely different. We see New Life Brands is really, really going after forums on men's health. Um, so they're going after men's health stuff while the other, well, Green Coffee Bean Max seems like a more mishmash bit of traffic sources. But we can see their top traffic source, easywebcameras.com, is similar, which is a park domain that they're just getting stuck on. So this might be something that we want to investigate. So what are the benefits of being able to use What Runs Where's advertiser search? Well, you get a complete understanding of your comparator strategy from A to Z. What kind of ads are being run, what networks they're using, where they're running the ads. We can filter the data in any way that you want. You can see which publishers are the best or a waste of time for the offer, so you can reduce your testing time and testing budget. And you can view all the creators so you can figure out which ones work best and take inspiration from it. You can use our domain tracking tool to get notified of new ads when they're launched by competitors so we can do all that work for you. And you, you can very quickly see if you're Netflix and you're looking at Crave TV, which is a competitor that's launched in Canada, or Show Me, which is another one, you can see when they launch new ads. Or if you're Asahi Berry Select and you're looking at new light brands, you can watch their split test variations as they unfold in real time. So what this allows you to do is be a bit more proactive instead of reactive. A lot of other tools and a lot of other services will batch in data monthly. Well, we batch in data daily. And the reason why is because we don't want you to wait for a month, look at somebody's strategy, and then by then they've already started testing something else. We want to show you in real time what people are doing to help you build better ads. You can use our pub by publisher search tab within What Runs Where to look up the publishers that you want to work with directly. So if you're interested in working with the Huffington Post, you can see all the different advertisers that advertise there, the ad networks they're selling inventory there, and the top banner ads they're running on there. And that's important because you can vet traffic sources. So if we're looking at that easy web counters, we can look at that in our publisher search and see who are the top advertisers there. Is it, is it just a fluke that these two diet advertisers are there or is it a diet hotspot and why? So, in conclusion, you're going to want to use what runs where to save time, save money, and reduce your testing risk. And when you marry that with a tool like OfferVault, where you're easily able to look up and research new offers, you can save hundreds upon thousands of hours and thousands upon tens upon hundreds of thousands of dollars of testing budget and your money when you use the tools together. When we started What Runs Where, the reason why we decided to launch it publicly is we actually used it on our own campaigns about six years ago. And we found by looking up offers within OfferVault, because that's, that's how we used to research all the time, and then using What Runs Where, we were able to generate a positive return on investment fairly frequently. Not every time. Not every campaign is a winner. But we were able to generate that kind of, you know, ROI consistently compared to what we were doing before. So I'll open up the floor to questions in a minute. And I know there are a bunch of questions and we'll go through all of it. But we put together an exclusive offer for new users and non-active What Runs Where users. So if you already use What Runs Where, I'm so sorry. I hope you're enjoying the service. We're offering 50% off your first month of the service, and all you need to do is go to What Runs Where, and when you sign up for our display and mobile pro package, you just use the coupon code OfferVault50, and you'll automatically have 50% applied off your first month. So I'll go through a couple questions, and I'm sure we'll have some great stuff come out of it as well, and go off on a couple tangents, but I'll hand it over, I'll let Leanne ask the questions and I'll do my best to answer them.
Awesome. So guys, go ahead and start putting your questions. I know there's a bunch of questions already in there. I'm going to get to them. Uh, but if you do have questions or comments, please put them in there now so that we make sure we get to them. Uh, and I want to, first of all, thank you, Max, because that was a phenomenal presentation. Um, it, there's something about just being clear on what to do with a tool. A lot of times we have things that are so powerful um, and we just don't know the right way to use them. And it, it's simple and it's easy. And um, I even appreciate just kind of watching and seeing you go through it and show what to actually, what to think when you're looking at the data. So very, very helpful. Uh, let's start going through the questions. I'm gonna go through the questions uh, from the top. So give me just a second to uh, to find some of the, uh, Things here. I'll quick. I will quickly say because I've seen a number of questions. The webinar replay will be made available to everybody. Where it'll be put up onto the What Runs Where website, and it'll be mailed out by Offer Vault as well. And we'll mail it out to everybody as well, so you'll you'll for sure get it. And I, I'd like to highlight one other thing, which is at What Runs Where we have a completely free resources section that you can find at WhatRunsWhere.com. It doesn't cost a penny, and we have eBooks and case studies and industry reports where we look into specific industries and we have tools that will help you buy more effectively and better and it's a hundred percent free so if you're looking for a great place to learn about media buying if you're looking for you know some more information about how to use the tool and how to um, use our data it's a wonderful place to go awesome that's great to know so um, a, a couple of things uh, first of all um, Mosem had a question. He's, uh, I guess sometimes when you look on Offer Vault and you pull up the, uh, and I've, I've seen this question twice from two people. So sometimes when you pull up an offer, you don't necessarily see a lot of data. You might just see kind of a basic uh, banner or maybe it doesn't exactly match the offer. Do you have any idea why that might happen and, and how, uh, you know, does that happen inside when you get the, the full, you know, 100% information? Sure. So in a lot of cases, um, if we don't have data, we don't have data. We don't make up data. We only see what we've collected and we only show that. If there's incorrect data, sometimes it's a result of poor targeting. So it's people that are, have had offers redirected or have had banners redirected. Other times it's a poor matching between our integration with OfferVault and it's something that we continually work with to make better. So if there is a situation like that, feel free to send us an email or send off all an email and we'll look into it and make sure that that gets cleaned up because we do, we usually do not see that kind of matching within our product. Awesome. Uh, so Lenny's asking, is this similar to box of ads? And I can answer that question. Uh, so in a way it is similar because they both give you competitive intelligence. Uh, the difference is that box of ads is strictly for pay-per-view campaigns and uh, what runs where is for display campaigns and mobile display. Um, so there's slightly different types of ads. And if you're running display ads, you definitely want to have access to the data inside of what runs where. And we, and the other important thing is we do um, the mobile web better than anybody else. We were actually the first person to launch um, a mobile web intelligence tool in the world. Um, we were covering a whole bunch of news outlets were doing it and all that kind of stuff. And then we were the first person to launch Android in-app intelligence as well. And we're the only person to have Android in-app intelligence. So we can tell you what ads are running within your favorite Android apps, how they're being promoted. And this is really, really unique and powerful data because mobile is a huge opportunity space within the affiliate um, you know, mandate and purview because people are really looking to take advantage of mobile but have no clue how to do it. Right. And I mean, this data can save you, I mean, thousands of dollars, years of struggle. Um, it, I mean, one of these days I'll, I'll share with, uh, with the offer vault, uh, offer vault list, uh, a case study that we had actually done inside of offer vault where one of our members actually went out there and was able to get profitable on a campaign within a week because of competitive intelligence, where before that he had struggled for several years. So um, this really makes a big difference. It's taking other people's experience and, and other people's, people's split testing and using it as your own. So another interesting question from Ariel. Uh, Ariel says, how many sites does What Runs Where monitor? So that's a, that's a really interesting question. And the answer is 
different on every country. We monitor between 30,000 and about 150,000 sites, depending on the country that you're in. So what we do with a country list is we try and make them extraordinarily unique to the country that you're visiting. Because we're in about 16 different markets, about to be 17. So we cover data not just from North America, but from Europe, from Asia, from Latin America, and soon to be Africa as well. And people in Brazil aren't necessarily looking at the same websites that people in Canada are. So our URL list will vary by country, but we make sure that we have a critical mass of URLs where we can collect a representative sample of what's happening within that country. So you're seeing you know, a true idea of what's actually happening there. Cool. Uh, so next question from Mauricio. Uh, Mauricio says, uh, Max, can you please explain the concept of prevalence that appears on the What Runs Where reports? Absolutely. Prevalence is an internal score that we create. It's basically us saying, here's what we think is doing best. So the higher the prevalence score, the better that we think it's doing. It's a blended score that combines factors such as how many times we've seen the ad, how long the ad's been running, how frequently we've seen the ad in the past little bit, and the number of countries that the ad's running in, or the traffic source or anything like that. So if we, wherever we see prevalence or we have another score called ad strength that's very similar, we try and give those scores to just give our users an idea of what we think is doing best. Cool. And and I uh, I tend to like internal scores and things like that. If any of you guys are familiar with uh, ClickBank, for example, where they, they've got their own, uh, uh, now I'm forgetting what the, the name of it is, but they've got their own kind of weight for things. And it really tells you a lot about about what's going on. And it's it's nice, uh, it's always nice to have a, an affiliate marketer and a media buyer doing those sorts of things for you, especially if you're newer, you, you kind of get a better idea of how the pros really look at it and how the, the more advanced affiliate marketers look at it. Uh, so Robert wants to know, Max, uh, where's the love for the mobile only discount? So uh, Robert's running mobile campaigns. Will that coupon code work if he just wants the mobile uh, so, membership? No, it won't, but there, are the, there is a trial within the, there's a three day trial before the offer. And we want to give the blended version because we want people to see the full power of the tool. And at $150 for, for the first month, the blended version when it's usually 300, we think that's an extraordinarily good way to see that power. But if you do want the mobile only version within the trial period, you can feel free to contact us. We'll switch you to that only and apply that discount for you there. So we want people to try both, and then if you decide you only want one, you can just contact us very easily, and we'll and we'll switch you, or you can switch yourself within our interface. We're an extraordinarily nice group of people to talk to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree with that. I've uh, I've I've spoken with your support quite a bit. So. Um... Eric's got an interesting question. Uh, how does OfferVault get its data? Eric, um, I have no way of answering that, um, basically because I have no idea. To me, it's all you know, programmers and magic. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if you're talking about how we get the what runs where data, I'm sure Max could probably answer that. Uh, but I don't know that it would be very interesting, except to say that it's some kind of API thing. Um, uh, and that's probably the same for the other stuff that OfferVault has. Uh, but Eric, if you want to send that to our support, we'd be able to get a more detailed answer for you. Uh, all right, so let me see. We got a bunch of questions in here. Um, so interesting. Okay, so how does What Runs Where compare to Follow.net or to AdBeat? Sure, and uh, this, there are a bunch of other questions I see here about what makes us better than other competitive intelligence applications. The first thing I'll say is Follow.net is an aggregator service that takes data from tools like ours, like AdBeat. We actually provide Follow.net with a bit of data, so the data you're seeing in there, a bunch of that's ours as well. I will, I'll say this. We were the first competitive intelligence tool to start, and we are the largest competitive intelligence tool. And there's a reason why our users use us. We feel like we have the best quality of data. We offer the best support. We show a unique set of data, including our in-app data that nobody else has. And if, if people ask how we compare, I, I encourage you to try us and try any other competitive intelligence tool. And there's a reason why our users come and use our tool. It's because we're really good at what we do. 
So a couple different things. We're, we're constantly pushing the envelope in terms of new features and new data. We are a company of 27 people. So there are 27 people that are dedicated to nothing but making what runs where the best service that can be to serve your needs. And then the final thing I'll say is the minute that we started what runs where we stopped running campaigns as an affiliate. And I don't know another service that can claim that. We don't, we don't want to compete with our users. We want the insights that we give you and the advice that we give to be sincere and helpful. And we don't want to leave something out because it might, you know, interfere with what, what I'm doing personally on the side. We want to provide the best service possible to the best group of people and to the best group of clients. That's awesome. Um, something to be said about integrity in that way. Um, certainly not something that exists everywhere in this, uh, in this industry, unfortunately. So, um, so interesting question from Frank. Uh, Frank says in weight loss, which is more effective banners or landing pages? So Frank, I think what you're asking is, is it better to promote weight loss with display ads or with pay-per-view ads? And I'm going to tell you that it depends. Uh, it depends on what your targets are. In other words, where you're advertising. It depends on uh, if you're doing PPV, the keywords or the URLs that you're targeting. In diet, it depends on where you're placing the ad. Um, and so it really, really depends. Both can work phenomenally well. What I will say to you, though, is pick one and run with it uh, because you don't want to get, um, you know, if you go in too many directions, it's not going to work, right? So pick one. It doesn't matter which one and focus on it. And if you're going to be using what runs where, display is a great place for you to start. And as you've seen uh, from earlier, uh, there are lots and lots of, uh, there's lots of information, lots of data when it comes to the diet niche. So uh, okay, let me grab some more questions here. I'll answer a couple in just sort of rapid fashion that I see here. Um, Alicia asked, how much is what runs where? We offer a three-day trial for free. And then our product afterwards is between $150 and $300 a month for our basic version and it goes up from there for enterprise versions. Um, is there a way to filter a brand awareness campaign versus banner ads? That sort of ties into what are your plans for the future. That's one thing that we're looking at building in the future. Right now there is not. We're constantly working on new features and new types of data and new ways to bring different views of our data to our users. One major thing that we're that we have coming out in the near future is a brand new UI that that shows our data in a bunch of different ways, and also is you know just phenomenal. It's it's, it's responsive. It highlights data for you and it sets the stage for us to begin to roll out some really great stuff aggressively over the next year. Gary asked if we do we monitor Facebook. We do not monitor Facebook. There's a legal issue there. Um, we have a partnership with Comscore for our enterprise clients to show a very limited view of Facebook data but that's skewed much more towards branding clients and Fortune 500 companies. So another question for you, Max, is uh, do you have a tool that could predict the exhaustion of an ad campaign? We don't. That's a very interesting idea, but we, we don't have a tool that does that. What you, what you can see is you can look at past ad campaigns and see when they ran out and why, and then you can base that data into future campaigns and say, is this following the same trends? And you can try and do that on your own, but we don't have a tool that can allow you to do that right now. Okay, and... Uh, we've got a question from Andre, which uh, actually I really like this. I don't know that we can answer this now, but he says, you know, could you actually just walk us through the setup of a campaign by choosing an offer using what runs where competitive intelligence, showing us how you would set up the campaign, what would your criteria be, 
and why. Anything specific uh, would be appreciated, uh, like using the prevalence score and or the duration to make this determination for both traffic sources and offer selection. So I love that idea, Andre, and I think that uh, we could probably set something like that up for a future webinar. Uh, I think it would be actually phenomenal to do for your guys. So uh, and definitely take a look at doing that. Andre, we can also, that's, a, that's actually a really phenomenal idea. And I think what we'll try and do is once we're done this webinar, we'll go back um, here internally and try and put together something there that we can mail out to everybody that joined us for this webinar as well, doing exactly what you talked about. Yeah, great suggestion. Really phenomenal. Uh, you've, had, you've got a request from Lewis uh, to come up with some annual plans or biannual plans. We do, we do actually have annual and biannual plans. They are hidden. All you would need to do is you need to contact our support department and they can help set you up with those plans. So that's just support at whatrunswear.com or you can email me directly. My email is max, M-A-X, at whatrunswear.com. If anybody has any questions or wants to talk about anything, um, feel free to let me know and send me an email and I'm happy to help you take care of whatever you need. Cool. Um, so two more questions that I'll address here. Oh, well, maybe three because more are popping up. Uh, but quick question. Do you guys uh, have data on adult traffic? We do. We collect data from the Internet in general. And a lot of the Internet is adult ads. Um, we have a filter within our account preferences to turn that adult data on and off. We work with a lot of big brands as well as affiliates and we need to have a brand safe product. But for people interested in adult data, we have a lot of it. And just by turning off our adult filter, you will see all of it. Yeah, and, and that's really good to know. And actually, what's funny is when I was preparing for today's call, I pulled up some offers and I thought, well, let me let me pull up some dating offers. And then I quickly changed my mind because of some of the banners that showed up. And I, I was like, well, I can't really show this on a live call. I, <laughs> maybe someone else could, but I can't. So, um, yeah, so it's definitely there. Um, so question from uh, Jure, what's the difference with PPV ads and display ads? So uh, PPV ads basically show up differently right? Uh, PPV ads are the pop-up ads that people get. So if, if you've ever visited a website and there was another window that popped open with an advertisement, that's a PPV ad. It's like a pay-per-view. And a display ad is, you know, for example, the banners that you see around a website or, um, you know, on the side of a blog post or something like that, that would be a display ad or inside an application on your iPhone. Uh, so that's the difference between PPV and display. Display shows up as a, as a banner or a text ad, and PPV shows up as another window and, and pops up. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, so you've got another feature request from Francisco. Um, predicting the next boom ad niche campaign. So when, when we look at our data as a whole, that's actually something that we're looking at doing in the future. So using our data to make predictions on industries or on campaigns was not something that we do right now. And I can't give a, um, and we can't give a timeline there. Okay, great. Um, Richard's asking about how to access the What Runs Where data on Offer Vault. So on Offer Vault, I'll kind of walk you through this without actually showing it. What you're going to do once you find the, the campaign that you want to promote or that you want to get more info on, when you pull that particular offer up and you see the, the landing page on the side and you see some buttons on the bottom, there's a, a competitive intelligence button with the What Runs Where icon. Click on that, and that will open up the What Runs Where data. So you actually have to click on the button to pull up the information, but it's there. All right. And, yep, okay, and same question from, from Donald. Um, so, yeah, so, guys, when you go to OfferVault.com, you search for your offer, click on the offer. Once that page pulls up, look for the What Runs Where competitive intelligence button. Click on that, and that will pull up the data. 
Okay, great. And uh, those of you who are asking about uh, actual uh, payments, discounts, etc., on what runs where, please contact what runs where support, and they'll be very, very happy to help you with that. Um, and we got. Uh, let's. Should we take uh, what? A couple more questions, Max. Sure. Sure. All right. So here's a great one. And guys, go ahead. And if you have a last minute question, pop it in there and, uh, and I'll pick uh, I'll pick two of them. Uh, here's one from Jennifer. Can you give us the minimum criteria that makes you choose an ad? Sure. So I don't think that's a hard and fast rule of thumb. When I'm looking at an ad or when we're looking at something to recommend, we look at it in relation to the data set. So we say in relation to the entire data set that we've seen in and we need a critical mass data, so it could be within the offer, it could be within the niche, it could be within the country. You know, how is this ranked? How does it score um, with the ad strength and prevalence score? And how long has it been running in comparison to the rest of that data set? So if I'm looking at, say, a diet offer, you have three ads. One of them has been running for two years, and everything else has just started running. I would think the one that's been running for two years is a good starting point and I let the other ads that just started running gather more data to see which one won before I started testing it. On the flip side, if I see a lot of you know ads that have been running for a long time, but one of them has a much higher prevalence score than the others, that would be the ad that I would pick. So what makes me choose an ad, some of it's a gut decision. You know, a lot of markers make decisions based off of gut and we want to change that and I'm guilty of it as well. What makes me choose an ad is our data and relying on that data to tell me what I should be testing and then applying a proper testing methodology to my campaign once I've done that. Awesome. Um, and uh, we'll take this one last question from Francisco. Francisco says, what's the learning curve time of your software? In other words, how long is it going to take to figure out what runs where software so that you can use it properly? We... We like to think that our learning time is a couple hours, but we offer a live in-chat support team. So we have actual people here in Toronto that are on a live chat that will help you use our product better and will work with you to make sure you know how to use our product and get the maximum value out of it. And we provide all those wonderful free resources as well. Okay, great. So thank you so much. A lot of people are saying thank you, fantastic. Uh, lots of great comments about this. So um, again, thank you so much, Max, for coming on here and sharing this great information, sharing the three case studies. And uh, we're going to do a few more webinars for you guys. Uh, we're definitely going to look at, um, uh, let me just get the, the person's name. Um, yeah, uh, so Andre's uh, suggestion, we'll definitely set something like that up because I thought that was phenomenal. And uh, guys, take advantage of the special coupon code uh, for half off the first month. If you need anything else, absolutely anything else, uh, please feel free to contact support. Uh, if you need to reach OfferVault support, it's support at OfferVault.com. If you need to reach what runs where support, uh, how would they do that, Max? It's just support at whatrunswear.com or you can email me directly at max at whatrunswear.com and I'll make sure you get hooked up with the right person. Fantastic. So thank you guys. Thanks everybody. And uh, Max, uh, we'll be speaking again real soon. Thanks so much. Bye Thanks everyone. for your time, guys.